Welcome back guys, in today's video I will show you three options how you can record your screen whether you are using it for your YouTube videos or any other content creation platform. Additionally, I will also show you how you can capture not only your computer screen but also your mobile phone screen that you can use it on your videos. Option number one how you can record your screen is by using canva.com. So if you have ever heard of canva.com, you know that you can get designed all your social media video posts, you can do presentations, you can do a lot of sorts of things on a Canva including YouTube thumbnails as well. So now I will leave the link in this video description where you can uh, try it out a Canva's a premium pro version free for uh, 30 days. So to actually record the screen with canva.com so you have your design right here. So let's say I have some simple presentation that I want to record. It can be any sort of visuals like using some explanations for your YouTube videos. So once you have finished with the design what you want to show on your screen while you are recording it so you've done the design you come up here and click on the share then if you scroll down here you will see present and record so if you click on the present and record it will then take you to the recording studio so if you click on this button right here now you can see you can use virtual camera you can set up any other you know external camera and then you can also select your microphone so i have a currently plugged my a snowball microphone right here so that it's selected right there and if you have camera it will show your image right here now if you click on start record so you see that there is audio incoming so it's all good now click on start recording and it will start recording your screen in three seconds now at this point this is your video right here you can pause it at any time okay if you have any notes for your presentation they will also be displayed here so you can read them through well this is the actual screen that gets recorded now if you want to restart you simply click on resume or you can click on done now if you are click on done Canva will save your recording and then you will see you have several options what to do next. So from here now you have a share link, you can simply share your recording. You can also download it to your computer or simply save it and exit. So if you click on download, it will save mp4 video on your computer and that's it how you can record your screen by using Canva's inbuilt recording studio. Now option number two is to use a flashback express a screen recorder. Now it's quite powerful tool and if you come on flashbackrecorder.com you can compare they do have a paid version called Flashback Pro as well and basically the only difference between these two options is that you are not able to apply any video effects or add any other visuals or texts on your video so basically you cannot really add any other b-rolls on the top of your screen recording well you can still you know trim your videos you don't have any watermarks and you can save them simply as mp4 format so if you require any other formats or you want to edit your screen recording directly you might have to consider then a flashback pro version however if you are just using any other software to normally edit your videos flashback express is a great option uh, how you can capture your screen so from the features right here you can see that you can capture any part of your screen you don't have to by default record your entire screen you can also use your webcam as an overlay similarly as we just saw it on canva you can uh, position yourself somewhere on a corner of your recording and then you can use all the external microphones to capture all the audios and you won't have any watermarks there also are no time limits how long you can record and then simply your file will be saved as mp4 and you can quickly upload it to your youtube or anywhere else you would like to use your video so to get started you simply need to click on get express free it will then download the installer on your computer once you run the app it will look like this so you have some options how you can record the full screen or you can mark only some portion of your screen that you would like to do under the settings right here you can uh, again change some options that you have you can use hotkeys if you want so you can see your video and audio resolutions and the frame 
frame rates and so on. So it's quite easy to use and it's nothing uh, complicated and you can see your video quality right here. So you can set it up as 700 as highest. So if you want a higher resolution, you would have to upgrade. However, I will show you another option how you can actually record in a higher video quality and still for free. And that's by using OBS screen recorder. So if you come to obsproject.com, from here you can choose depending of your uh, operating system you are using on your computer, you can then choose one of these options and download the OBS Studio. OBS Studio is great, it's easy to use it. If you would like for me to do another video about more advanced how to get started with OBS, let me know in the comments. So once you have downloaded the OBS, it will look like this. So currently I am recording this video by using OBS and you can see my recording is in the progress so I can stop it from here. And then I will see all my recordings in my documents under the video files. You can of course when you get started with OBS specify the folder where all your recordings will go. So you can see I'm currently just capturing the audio from my external microphone and all my display as my entire screen. Again, you have settings and you have options how you can only record part of your screen. Or for example, if you're doing something like YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels, you can also change the aspect ratio as well. And here you can see how my audio get captured. So sometimes if I plug my microphone and I forget to check, I can actually record without any audio. Audio. So by just double checking here, you see that audio gets captured. So that's it. That's how you can record your screen from your computer. I have given you three options. Now, if you are looking to record your mobile phone screen while you are on using computer, there's a great app called Let's View. So if you come to letsview.com, you simply need to download this app and it will work again for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and you can even mirror your phone to your smart TV as well. So once you click on download and you have installed the app, it will look like this. Now, once you have installed the app on your computer, you obviously have to install it on your phone as well. So if you go on the app store and search for let's view, so this is the app you need to install. So in my case, it says open because I'm already installed it on my computer and now it's currently displaying my phone view for you. So click on the install and then you will have up on your phone. Now what you need to do is depending on whether you have iPhone or Android, you need to open your screen mirroring. So on iPhone, it will be on the bottom on my screen. So I simply click on screen recording and you will see the connected devices and let view will be one of them. So from here, you can make markings on your screen recording. You know, you can of course and do and delete them. You can also pin your phone screen recording on the top, regardless of any other tabs you have opened you can crop the portion of it and you can rotate it okay and then again all your recordings will be saved on the path that you have provided so if you come back on your let's view app on your phone let me just disconnect this and then if you come right here and click on the settings you will see some of the settings for example you can see the higher resolution so it actually captures the screen even more higher than a flashback express free version okay and then if you click on capturing settings, you will see output directory where you can create a folder, specify the folder where your screen recordings will be then saved. And you can also do screenshots, not only the entire video. So you can see screenshot format here again, you can set the file type you would like to save it also for your video format as well. Okay, and then there are other settings you can browse through before you get started. Now, once you have done and record all your screens, you need to know how to edit this footage much quicker. To do so, watch this video as a next one and I'll see you there.